Before I came here, I didn't know there's such thing as Somaliity. So Somaliity is the best. Oh my day, exactly, bro. So I'll do what well, I'll do with this one. No, you can't. You can see the color. Right? You can see the color. It's basically what do you call this color? Tea color, mate. Oh snap! It's Coco. Right. So we're just in Ray's Hotel. Not a Q and A where we got from you guys. It's a Q and A where I have to, have to ask him questions about Somaliland. Like first question is, as any question, have you ever been to Somalia before? This. Well, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, I've been to Somalia. Give me a date. Oh shit, date. No, you young. Just say, just, just give me an idea. Right. The last time I came to Somaliland was about like ten years ago. Uh, the re the reason was because. Well, what was the reason? I think I was just busy traveling, uh, studying, university. Um, plus, when I got work in a lot, I couldn't get holidays because I used my holidays already to go to Southeast Asia, to go to Africa, South Africa, and stuff. So uh, I didn't have a chance to come here when my family came about four years ago. So that's why it's been like ten years since I've come. And yeah, that's the last time I came when I was like 16, 15. Okay, so you were here 16 and now that like, you're here now, what's the difference between then and Oof, now? Wow. Okay, wow. So, a lot to be honest. Um, the roads are a bit still the same. You want to know what's the difference or just everything was the same? Like, you just give me the major ones, you don't have to give me the major ones. The roads are the same, rough. Uh, the road systems are better though, like it's like in her case I'm talking about. Okay, in Borma it's just like one straight street and that's it. And the rest is just yeah. very simple. Okay. Um, but um, what's the same? Landscape is the same. You see animals on the way when you're traveling from Hargeza to Borma. Okay. Um, what's different? Uh, buildings. Now there's like nice buildings, like some some cable buildings, like three four stories. Yeah. Um, villas everywhere. Like we built a villa as well. Like there's villas everywhere now, and it's like nice villas. And they're getting ideas. Like you see, like Spanish. Like European style villas, like golf style villas, you know, them like square. So um, that's different. Okay, then uh, you've been in UK, Abu Dhabi, UAE, and Somalia. Can you tell me each one of them how many years you've been there? Whatever. So obviously, born and raised in UAE, Abu Dhabi, uh, 13 years. Uh, lived there for 13 years. Then moved to England for about seven, seven years. So that's like five in Manchester and like two in Sheffield. You know, shout out Sheffield, you know, Sheffield Hallam, you know how we do From it. Sheffield, make sure to drop a like and subscribe yeah. and tell the other UK people, whatever, to subscribe as well because we need more of you guys. You know, Sheffield, no, I love Sheffield, though, to be honest. Uh, it was a big rivalry, you know, shout out Sheffield Hallam, Hallam till I die, yo. you know. Uh, and, yeah. So if you want to compare the food between UK, Food. Yeah, like oh, which one has the best? Yeah, UK, UAE, Abu Dhabi to be more specific, and I think Borman. That's my name. Which one food would you prefer to? Be? Easy. It's easy. You want me to say the truth? It's easy. Just spit it out. UAE, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Talk about traditional? Yeah, because Abu Dhabi has diversity, like it has tradition, like a uh, cuisine, so many all foods. Over the world, huh? So, if you want tradition, what is it? Oh, okay, now, now you get to tradition. It's a QA, bro, obviously. I, I've been studying this for like So, you said England, mm -hmm. Somali food, or UAE, yeah, like the Marathi food? Marathi food, yeah. Ah, it's, mm. oh, it's tough, it's tough, bro. Breakfast, Somalis have the best breakfast. So you can say uh, British breakfast. <laughs> no, no, but come on now, now you need to have I'm talking about breakfast, dinner, lunch, because they're more. I'm talking, I'm talking all. Okay, can I tell you what I would eat in a good day? What? Alright. Somali food would be lahar. Oh, oh bro, you know, you know that stuff, yo. It's like Somali pancake, basically. Yeah. The best thing. In the world. Okay, lunch. Lunch is tough. Definitely not Somali food. Sorry, saying it right now. Definitely not Somali food. Too much pasta, too much rice, and the meat. Too much meat. Too much meat. It's too much meat. Too much meat. For me, it would be English. It's gotta be the English for lunch. I was breaking it down for you. Break it down. Uh, uh. Anyway, uh, breakfast is Somali food, definitely, with the laha, uh, with the muhammad and everything. Dotimi. Uh, lunch is gotta be English, not Somali for sure. 
Arabic is too heavy. English is just nice and light. Yeah, so you can have like the the, the, the fried, the, not the fried, like the grilled chicken, the oh, shepherd's yeah. pie, yeah. Oh, like Yorkshire pudding. Like, Somali like, breakfast, I guess Somali breakfast is really heavy. Oh, it's, like, yeah, it's heavy. I eat like 3 to 2 and I'm like, boom, I'm done. I don't even want to eat lunch. Huh. What? What's English breakfast to you? Uh, tea, toasted bread, egg, sausage, like pizza, and beans, and beans. mushroom. And uh, like omelette basically. But that that's that's the halal version. The real one they have uh, black bacon, pudding, something called bacon, bacon black pudding. Yeah, that one. So black pudding is the one that And their tea is blood. British blood. love their tea. No cup of tea. Anyway, so I was a saying tea a day. lunch will be English. Um, I can't even give some I think like, Somali will be dinner. It will have to be but dinner dinner no, it wouldn't be a late dinner though. It wouldn't be a late dinner like 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 because I have dinner at eight, nine, so I'll give Dinner, I'll give it to the new Emirati food. Oh yeah, the grill, the grill yeah. stuff. Though I don't want none of that rice, none of that carb stuff. I want straight up protein, mate. You know what I mean? Get the gains. <laughs> okay, so now we're done with food. Done with food. Huh? Uh, how do you compare the people between UK, UAE, and someone like what's the difference? What do you see it? And your point of view. Not what you think about. But no, who do you like the most? But no, don't take it. Take, don't take it. Just no. Just, well, people might take it personally. Let's stick to where I'm from and why. No. So you probably say you. I can tell that. Hang on. So we're talking about people. Like okay, lifestyle. Let's say lifestyle. Let's talk about people because people might get offended. But you is baby. I don't want that shit. That's true. That's true. Um, no lifestyle. Ah, you. Easy, easy. Safety, uh, openness. Oh my god, safety. Uh, Somaliland, to be honest. It, okay, it'll be, it'll be UAE, Somaliland, then England. Really? England's interesting. That's interesting. Bro, England, bro, man, it's Europe. Anywhere in the world, like I told everyone, ever anywhere in the world is not safe. But if you were gonna, if I was gonna put it in order, UAE is definitely the safest out of them two, hundred percent. Top five safest uh, cities in the, the world. world. Uh, then it would be Somaliland, just because I think like culture and just people like that. In Europe, in Europe, it's dangerous, man. Okay, now Next question. Gonna, yeah, now we're gonna ask the language. The, the, the thing that blocks you, like basically, you have a little bit Somali in you, basically, you got since you got a Somali in you, yeah. and so how do you think that the language barrier basically does it stop you from? Like, do you feel like you're uh, you're not communicating well with the Somalis when you don't know how to speak with them in the mother in the language, which is Somali? Because they, they also speak uh, Arabic, uh, and English is so, somehow rare, but it's not mm -hmm. super rare. But Somali is like the main language. Like right. I'm Somali and I speak, I think 30, 50 percent Somali. You want to tell the truth though. Yeah. You want to tell the truth though. Yeah. It's actually pretty good not to speak Somali too much, in a lot of ways. But if we speak Somali like he does, <laughs> it's kind of good. <laughs> no, it's not. Me. But my my you're Somali good. is good. Okay. Like we, you're not you're not like them Somalis. Yeah, I'm not like Okay, them. there we go. That's why yours is worse, I would say. Let me see here why. So he knows Somali more than me, 100%, that's for sure. He knows more Somali than me. But the thing is, with me, if, if you don't know any Somali, you come here, yeah, you get the haha, you don't speak. Actually, you don't even get the laughing. They don't laugh at you. It's just like, poor guy. Yeah, they don't laugh here. <laughs> they don't laugh. No, they do. If you if you speak. No, I feel like the laughs are not original, man. Like. <laughs> no, I don't know. But. <laughs> Anywho, uh, if you don't know any Somali, you come here. You know, it's like a new country. You just try to get away with speaking to some people in English, some people in Arabic. You will get away with it if you obviously everyone knows English. But if you know Somali like he does, like he does speak Somali better than I do, but he doesn't speak as good as everyone else, like Somali Somalis. You know, it's true though. And I was not born raised. Yeah. Okay, I get it. But then people laugh at him. Because no. yeah, he had, yeah, bro. Like they don't have this smile. They smile. Yeah, because they're really like, oh, he doesn't know Somali. Like they're saying, oh, he's back to his own country, so he can learn Somali. They always say, learn your own language. If they want to laugh at me, I'm like, oh, you laugh at me. No, I'm talking about in general. This is general, not just him. Okay. I'm talking about in general people who speak a bit of Somali, and their Somali is really bad, basically. Like they pronounce things badly, or they. Because there's one word could mean a lot of things. They say the wrong word in the right meaning and things like that. 
people laugh. With me, they totally understand. Like I would just say the wrong word totally. Even though I was speaking Somali, I would say the wrong word totally. They'll just laugh, and I'll be like, "Yeah, it was good. I don't know Somali." But these people, they're gonna feel it. They're gonna be like, "Ah, oh, shit, my Somali's not that great." Ah, I know my Somali's not great. Well, it's shocking. It's zero. Actually, it's maybe one percent now. Yeah, I would say more than one percent. More than one. More yeah, because he understands more than he speaks. More than one percent. And I, I can, I, I can hear and understand more than I can speak. That's why when they speak to me, I was like. Yeah. It's just that yes and no, yeah. that's mainly. So that's why I don't have a lot of issues. So that's the language. If you don't speak it, come here, it's fine. You get, you get by, you learn it anyway. Like I'm learning. Yeah. The way I learned it, I came here, it started freaking collecting oh. into my brain. Like, yeah. so but Somali language, at the same time, it's really fast the way they speak it. I'm like, it's like, thank God I understand it, but when it's too fast, and there's those guys who when they speak. Are you high or something? Yeah. But in general, I actually like this language. I'm not gonna lie. But the reason why I know this much is because at my household we we only speak Somali. That's why I had Somali and this thing. So when I came here, I knew like it was every 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 time they speak, I could have understood. Ah, oh, I heard this one before. Where was it? And then once they say the meaning of it, I was like, oh yeah, now I know it. Right. But the numbers and uh, like when we go to a restaurant. And they say, "Ko uh, you bottom, ko you off." Those kind of numbers, they kind of complicate me because I don't know how the currency work and how yeah. the numbers, the big numbers are. But now I slowly, slowly, I'm getting there. Next question.